I'm a New Yorker, by the way. I'm a New Yorker. But I'm not from the New York that you think of when you think of New York. I'm not from New York City. I'm from a small town in Western New York State. I call it New York country. <laughs> Out where I'm from, there's two kinds of guys. Guys who go hunting and guys who go hunting. <laughs> now, do you know the difference between hunting and hunting? Hunting is for the good of the animals. You gotta kill some deer in the fall to have enough food for the others to eat in the winter. That's hunting. Hunting? That's a little different. Hunting involves liquor and flashlights. <laughs> You've been on Tulane County Road and you see a sign with a bunch of bullet holes. That's hunting right there. <laughs> Stop this truck, I'm gonna shoot something. No, you yield. Funny, you tell people you're from New York and they assume it's New York City. I was working recently in Iowa. I'm working in Iowa. I meet this guy, he goes, where are you from? Well, I'm from New York. He goes, oh, New York. I know all about you big city New Yorkers. Ross, have you ever been up in the Empire State Building? That's presumptuous. I mean, I'm in Iowa. I don't assume this is your tractor. <laughs> and then I thought it was funny. Uh, he asked me what presumptuous meant. That's kind of funny. <laughs> Presumptuous is one of those words, I could not define it, but I can give you an example of it. I'm in a public restroom with an automatic deodorizer. Every couple of minutes, you hear that little spray, that little <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? <laughs> I walk in, I've been there for less than five seconds. <laughs> That's presumptuous. <laughs> Yeah, my hometown is about 250 miles west of New York City. My hometown is Hornell, New York. Hornell, H-O-R-N-E-L-L. -L. Hornell is a small town just on the outskirts of a Walmart. <laughs> Which means I'm a real American, because real Americans live close to Walmarts. And if it's a 24-hour Walmart, that's as good as our life will ever get. <laughs> Because we're Americans, and sometimes we wake up and we need stuff. <laughs> you, just, you just sit up in bed, oh boy, whoo. I'm gonna need a garden hose. <laughs> I can't wait, I said I can't wait, woman. <laughs> Dang girl, don't hold me back. <laughs> Anyone like me, sometimes I shop at one of these stores. I don't know what I need until I'm in the store. Because <laughs> I don't shop like my parents. My parents were very frugal people. Uh, when they went shopping, they always had a list and they would only buy what was on the list. When I go shopping, I don't have a list. I have an hour. <laughs> I just grab a cart. Let's see what happens. <laughs> Next thing I'm in the checkout line, I look in my cart, it's like coming to out of an alcoholic blackout. <laughs> I, I don't know what I was thinking. <laughs> I was gonna stuff it on need. I got like a nursing bra. I've got a nursing bra. <laughs> I got a nursing bra and a canoe. Hey. <laughs> and this is when I'll often abandon my shopping cart. <laughs> And don't act like you don't know what I'm talking about. They're all over the store. Dozens, dozens of half full carts. They should have little plaques. This is where a shopper came to his senses. I don't, by the way, I don't actually live, I don't actually live in town. I live outside of town. I got a couple hundred acres of woodland upon which I built a log cabin from a kit. Did you, did you know that's how you build a log cabin? The days of chopping down your own trees and holding them together with beaver dung are over. <laughs> if you want a log cabin, where would you go? Where would you go? Where would you go? Where would you go? No, you don't go to Walmart. <laughs> went to Costco. That's where I went. <laughs> oh, there's a store. You walk through the front door, can't see the far wall because it curves over the horizon. 
I was in a Costco. I'll tell you how big it was. You ever seen an airplane hangar? Giant buildings where they construct enormous airplanes. You can buy those on aisle seven. <laughs> Actually, I, uh, I got my house on the internet. You know, that's, that's where you get everything. You know. I went to logcabin.com. Looked at all the models. I, I got the uh, James Garfield. It was a two bedroom, one bath, had a mud room. Uh, put my house on a credit card. They delivered my house unassembled <laughs> in a giant cardboard box. <laughs> Took a week to get the parts to my house out of the box. I was so tired, I started living in the box. <laughs> but I painted it because I'm not white trash. <laughs> I, was I was raised better than to live in an unpainted box. <laughs> Hey, did you know that Dry Bar Comedy has their own app? Download it right now to watch, save, and share clips. And watch my whole special.